right. Let's give this a try. Oh, pitter patter uh, before she dies completely. <laughs> pitter patter lets. Oh my god, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we found an exit. Welcome back, everybody. We did it. We found the exit. I'm so proud of us. We thought that we had to call somebody, but we realized that this is a horror game and you're not allowed to cry, like call people. Unless they're here to give you exposition, you know? So that's, that, that's a good thing. I feel thing. like there's going to be a thing up here. You know, we found an eight six seven five three zero nine, but it just didn't work. <laughs> we didn't have a phone. Oh. So yeah, hi, welcome back to Off the Map Gaming. We're playing some Silva. My name is Ben. This is just in. You're just in time to uh, go again. To go again, baby. Um, and we also have Janelle with us today. Hello. And she'll be here sometimes. Who knows? Can we jump and grab the thing? Does it open on its own? Oh, it's opening. I think. Yeah, there it goes. All right. And getting crushed by the ladder like that I guy. I was gonna say, wouldn't that be funny? Uh, what was it? Final Destination Four? Yes, yeah, just impaled. Just. Oh, straight through, straight through the eyeball is what he got. Oh. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> Follow the lights. We know that now, right? Um, oh, I hope that that's a rhetorical question. You know, I thought of a of a fun little idea the other day for a game, just like a, a quick game, quick little horror game, pixel art, you know, two D and all that. Uh, you'd be like a little robot, you'd be a little robot, and you would be exploring the Mariana Trench. Ooh. And and so like as you're falling down, you know, the light gets dimmer and dimmer until it's basically pitch black. And then, when you turn on your light, like, halfway down, you have, like, people talking over an intercom or something. And, uh, halfway down, you turn on a light, and you just see, like, the tail of something gigantic move just away like from you. Just, like, slither away. Thing. And, uh, and, like, you would have... You could, it would basically look like Rob is what I have in my mind. Like, a silhouette of Rob. And, uh, you just explore the Mariana Trench, and you have to solve puzzles to get through areas. And at the end, you find Cthulhu. I think that would be fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. What could be at the bottom? Oh, okay, I'll just run around him. It'll be fine. Well, everybody knows. Oh my god. <laughs> You're having an aneurysm. Jesus Christ. Okay, I hope no one's epileptic and watching this. Yeah. Uh, maybe a seizure warning at the beginning of this. Should probably not do that. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be a fun little game. It'd be Seems super like quick. The right way. I just would... needs like a lot of really good animation, I think. I would never play it, but that would be wonderful. No, oh, thank you. It's supposed to be left. It'd be alright. Um, I don't know, that would scare me enough to not play it. Really? That, just that? I mean, I don't... I mean, obviously you'd be able to die or something, but like... Anything. Anything ocean you're just not into? Oh! Did you play some Yahtzee games? That'd be fun. He did this thing where uh, he made 12 games in 12 months. One game a month. And, uh, they're all pretty good. They're all pretty simplistic, though. Um, and a couple... Yeah, you only put a month of work in. Yeah, they're all, like... But they're all pretty good. I will say that much. Like, the first one was... Be quiet. Hold on. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Yeah, that's what he said. Okay, let's just creep through. Oh, don't look at it. Go. Don't look at it. No. But... Oh, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay. Don't look at it. Just keep going. Just don't look Look away. Just don't don't back into it. He's gonna kill you, man. I would back into it. It said all it said was don't look at it. No, I think it'll also kill you if you walk into it. Um, is there a way well, out of here? Let you go He's behind us, isn't he? I don't know. Look at it. No, yeah, I mean, <laughs> looking at it every once in a while is probably fine. Okay. The hell was that thing? Right here. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. Well, at least she knows. Everything's fucked. Mm -hmm. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. 
Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't. You don't want to think oh, about it. We'll damn. start thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I, I want to put her inside of her Omni thing. Project when that yeah. the I want her little chip project. inside my Omni thing so I can talk to her. How could anything her? possibly matter when you know you're a stupid Perfect. robot in a Wouldn't stupid that? dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You can <laughs> I think I have a better I chance like of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, yes! I picked it up at the store where I woke up. That'll well, have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure. Hell yeah, I will. Sure, whatever. God, our guy is such Omni a fucking loaded. downer. Just plug my cortex chip into the tool. Oh, I'm just sad about everything all the time because I got transported into a world of horror and sadness. Yeah, seriously, his name is Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Girl, sure, fucking whatever. sense of humor, Jesus. Seriously. Captain, terminal 27, activated. The Omnitool is ready now. Sweet. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot <laughs> chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? Alright, let's give this a try. Oh, pitter-patter uh, before she dies completely. <laughs> pitter-patter lets- oh my god, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, now she's just spare parts, bud. Helper Jane, no! Shutting down Helper Jane. <laughs> you just hear, like, a gunshot go off. <laughs> you hear Jane in the background, like, no, 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 wait! I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't what? know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, ah, ghost in the so shell. <laughs> Are they also scans uh, you do? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that I'm getting close. very, uh, ah, Cave right, Johnson-y vibes from this, you know? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. Me. This should tell us everything Did you ever play Portal? Do you uh, even know uh, what Valve uh, is? I haven't played. I've played Portal once, and it was years ago. I oh my god! Yeah. The files in this condition. I need to know. I think you would have a safe. great time listening to Cave yeah. Johnson. Yes, I'll the door for you. You Check the computer. You do pretty good. You do pretty good, Glados. I gotta say. <laughs> I love that game. Um, but you. you oh goddamn it! Yeah. I Oh, shut up, Catherine. I want to say things. Um, you've heard of I'll burn your house down with the lemons? That's Cave Johnson. Uh, he tried to put his mind inside of a computer, but he died first. <laughs> kind of sad, actually. He did dung goof. Uh, a for effort. Yeah, you know, he, he got somebody in there. Um, I don't want to spoil it, so I won't say who, but somebody got in there. Glados, I guess. Ooh, yay. Butt stuff. Ugh. Can't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. You got it. I'd really like to know. My mind got Canadian put into a machine. Idea. Like, oh my god, are we in the far future? What the hell is going on? Oh, that's a brain scan. Mm. So we probably got up after that little thing with Muncher, with the Munchies, uh, Mr. Muncher, no, Mr. And, Munchies. and and our human body continued to live normally while wow. our brain scan version of ourselves... But the human body is long gone now. Probably. It got taken out by the comet, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've solved the mystery, everybody. Uh, but it makes me wonder, you know, are we going to meet our dead girlfriend in here or something? Because that was like a kind of a plot point, right? At the very beginning. Opinion poll. Interview one. 
You know what? I'll bet you, you meet your dead girlfriend, and she's still dead. At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. Or we have to watch her die again. Ooh, just have to watch her die over and over again because there are infinite clones of her. And she can be put into as many robot bodies as she wants. As we want. Oh my gosh, it's the, it's the fucking wife from Resident Evil 7. <laughs> we have to kill her multiple times. Let's do it! Yeah. Or, um... She could be like the, the robot from Futurama. I will never forget you, Fry. What Memory deleted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then she dies. <laughs> These are environments? There are a couple moments in Futurama that absolutely kill me. That's nice. There are I like a couple these. ones that really make me happy. It's just the continued existence of the human race through, um, through robotics and engineering. It's really clever, actually. You know... One thing that kind of gets you are me, reading this. You've successfully entered the arc. This survey is des designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel um, normal. Why is why is that one red? Whatever. Um, I feel alien. Sure. I said I feel normal. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel normal. I feel altered. Uh, I feel lost. I don't exist anymore. Oh yeah. my god. Dye your hair How black. would you describe your senses? As expected, normal. I'm lacking one or more of my natural senses, like touch, taste, feel. <laughs> okay, so go write haikus in your grandma's basement. Sensation. Um, Pleasant. Uh, depressing. Oh, no. Because our guy's fucking the sad boy. Are you troubled by the fact that you're no longer strictly, strictly human? Uh, are you trouble? Mm. I mean, I, I think of... I, I think robots with sentience are still essentially humans. They are sentient. You know? That's all that matters. Well, gosh, if they ever... Be, if machines ever become sentient, we're all dead. But... I don't think so. If you teach them emotion, then they can learn not only anger, but also empathy. Well, I mean, if you watch Chappie, that's one thing. Would you so rather maybe... be removed from the project or accept death? What did you say? Maybe. maybe. <laughs> I found a tracker honed in on the arc. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. Arc within sector. Something at least. Where is it? Hold on. Well done. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. It's gonna be in the middle of the ocean, right? But it's close. It was close to the one you just selected. I think it's in the Atlantic, off to the left of the one that you just. No fucking way. Okay. Kudos. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No, no, I think one down. He's getting closer. One down. No, right there. One more. Oh. Hmm. Maybe Tao. What's up, Tao? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, what was I saying before? Joey Tribbiani. Um. Oh no. I was. What? <laughs> what? I was saying, um, uh, I was saying that some episodes of Futurama really get to me. Uh, the the dog one, obviously, mostly because it was based on a real Japanese story I found it. about a dog it's that a just died waiting for his master to come home after he had a heart attack at work. Um, but there's also this other one where like, Fry just gets like a video clip of his dad saying, "I'm proud of you, son," over and over again. That one fucking kills me for personal reasons. <laughs> My favorite one was that movie where they just make fun of D and D. No. <laughs> like, not even halfway <laughs> through, Fry's jump, sitting there. Swim, Why won't sorta? kids learn that playing stuck Dungeons in the door and Dragons the won't make you I'll cool? I'll just carry you there. And, <laughs> and I'm you. sitting there like, that's a lie! That is a <laughs> lie! <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons does make you cool. It does it has make to. me cool! I'm cool. I'm cool! <laughs> Justin, you're cool too. You can be cool with me. We both play, uh, we'll play Pathfinder, which is a cooler version of Dungeons and Dragons. Pathfinder is the same okay. thing as 3.5, so, so I yes, really agree with you there. It's Catherine. Look around. Don't it's... talk to me, young man. What else is there to do? <laughs> Don't talk Maybe to me. Still... Oh, I forgot. That's right. You're like 35. Oh my God! Wow, that is so rude. I'm like three years away from that. Oh my God. 
She's really? Don't forget to take me with you. I'm, all, I'm almost 32, thank you. Can I pull the Omni? Okay. What is your wait, birthday? Wait. Okay, just be sure it's to put me in again at some point. You got it. Oh, yeah, that's right. We just celebrated it back in December. So proud of you. No, we didn't celebrate it back in December. It was the very first night that I stayed the night over here. Oh, wow. The night that you and Kirk... Shut up. Uh, came here for a sleepover. Shut up. For the first time. A Shut sexy up. sleepover. No, just a normal sexy pillow fight sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a pillow fight, though? You should have. Well, I mean, if that's what you call it nowadays. I don't mean that the pillows are your genitalia, if that's what you mean. Gosh darn it, I thought that's where we were going. I directly correlated the two. <laughs> oh my god. Um, this feels like the alien you know, should just jump right out of it. Right? Honestly, this does yeah. feel like the, I want to uh, figure out where to go first before we sign off. I mean, this is the last episode. So, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, sure, let's find out where to go, and then we'll Oh, wait, vent. Do you see that? Can you go through there? No. I just wanted to check it out. Never know what you can interact with. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. No. You, you... Oh? I was not listening to this lady. I was busy doing commentary. <laughs> Shit. Um. Watch it be that way. I don't think so, though. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. It feels like if you're going to make progress in a game, you know, you want to be moving forward, not backward. Although I'm... Eh, Shuttle station. These games are a little weird. Um, keep going this way. This looks... Sludge. This looks creepy. That feels right. Yeah, you okay. can go. Okay. That. Oh, I saw oh, something. Oh, he's around. He's around. Did you see something? I saw it. Oh, run. 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 Go, go, go. Okay. Go, go. I don't like it. Uh, park, park your button here. Maybe close the door. I think you were already here, though. We were, but you know what? You know what's better than not being here? Dying. That's true. Wait, no. Other way around. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, hello? It's gonna get you. Great, now we have to actually deal with an actual monster now. Man, I can't believe we got this far already. Because in the original Amnesia, you know, oh, oh, he's around the corner. Yeah, he, oh, he's gonna get you. Oh, there he is. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Whoa! Whoa! Um, Hi, buddy. I think that's okay. what was causing that. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think that he's mm. really close to you, and I think that he's following you, and I think you should run. No, sneaking is a good idea too. You don't have to run from all your problems. <laughs> Maybe that's why I always die in horror games. Yeah. Yeah, no, being sneaky is definitely an option. It's a chair. Dun, dun, dun! dun. <laughs> um, no, don't what? throw it through the window full of water. What would make you want to do... What's the, uh, what's on that terminal over on the right? Here? No, not, not that one. The one next to the dead robot. Big lady. Uh, sight, scan... Site Lambda online. Okay, that's all that says. Well, I think that maybe we should sign off and then pick this up next time. And we'll be uh, we'll be in a spot where we know what the hell we're doing. I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Are you going to go upset a boy? Uh, are you going to throw a can of beans at an alien? It's a can of soup from Bendy. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes it different. It has a plus two. Would okay. you accept a soup plushie? No. No? I can't find a Boris plushie that's bigger than me. And that's that's the only one I'll settle for, man. And it's the only one you'll settle for as well. No, I'd settle for one a little bit smaller than you. Yeah, there aren't any that are bigger than two feet. Or one foot. So, it's just a shame. Hello? I don't know what to do. Someone We're find it before we sign off. Come and kill me. Marco. Kill me. Marco! That's something I need to watch. I need to watch the, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Ugh. Like the not? Batman ones where he's Mr. Freeze? You need those Oh, I out. have I have seen Batman and Robin. That, that is a fucking masterpiece, man. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, Running what? around with Fridge? little boys in spandex again, I see. Uh, oh. I thought those were important, but they were just jello. Just throw jello everywhere. 
Um, but no, yeah, I've never, I've never seen uh, Terminator. Hey, here's a question. Um, in Terminator One, um, what what is the effect of the uh, of the teleportation look like? Any ideas? What does it look like? Come on. Really? What does it look like in number two? The main thing, the main thing that I remember from the first one is I let him go. Really? You don't you don't remember what the teleportation animation looks like? I haven't seen it since before I was ten. Wow. Okay, that's fair. Um. <laughs> all right. How about this? Um. Does Curious George have a tail? Curious George does. He he was with the man in the yellow hat. I think we have to go back does, out in the Does ocean. Curious George no. have a tail? I don't remember Curious George having a tail. He does not have a tail. No, he does not. If you do, if you think so, no. congratulations. You're an idiot. Also, Mandela effect. Um, but I remember the. he always called him the tall man in the yellow hat. The yellow hat, yeah. Yeah. He, he or like there was never well. a movie such as yeah. Shazam. Uh... Shazam. Oh, there was, Shazam. Was there not a movie called Shazam? What? It was only Kazam was Shaq. There was no movie before it. Kazam was... Um, Kazam was... Uh, Sinbad. But it wasn't. Correct. <laughs> but everyone thinks it's Sinbad. Correct. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Oh! Okay. I, I think we're good. Are we good? Are you done? All right. Ladies and gents, why do you why do you sign off while you like leave the game? No, why? No, stop and ah! <laughs> now they're looking at a black screen. Why do you do that? Because it's horror and it's creepy, and I wanted them to this time to look at black. Yes, I just... it's creepy <sighs> and it's horror. It breaks immersion. We'll talk about what it later. immersion? The immersion of being in the game at all times, essentially. When we're signing off, they're not in the immersion. What? No. I'll, I'll explain this in a minute. Let's do a quick sign off. Uh, this just in, you're on. just in time for uh, salt, apparently. Salty. The Hi. Salty sailor. I'm the saltiest boy about my recordings. I like doing them right. But hey, we will see everybody in the next episode. Um, thank you everybody for joining us. Tell somebody about how Justin likes to sign off really early on games for no reason. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Janelle, anything you want to say? Sayonara. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Leprosy. So it's the immersion of never leaving the game in the first place. Oh, meaning that they're watching us play the game at all times, not like we like to them. We don't do sessions. We do a video a day. But to uh, us, so, do so like, so it makes it look like you're actually doing it every day, but you're not. Yeah. So when you sign off, when you exit the game in the middle of the thing, it breaks immersion. Kind of like how you don't date videos. Oh, it's so the, you're like, it's if the, you say like last Saturday the Giants won their game and made it into the Super Bowl or whatever, um, that breaks immersion because now they're going to be if they listen to it like a year or even six months down the line, they're like. Oh, this was made a while ago. Why am I watching it now? Oh, it got it. You gotta lie. Yeah, that it's, makes... it's about putting on a show. Well, why didn't you just say that before? Because I did. I was trying to explain it, but I'm sorry that I was poor. It was poor. It was a poor explanation. It really was. And I'm sorry for that. I know it's your but fault. But I'm, I'm glad that you understand where I'm coming from now. I do. It's all about communication. Yeah. You should have communicated better. But in the moment, you were already signing off and you weren't letting me talk. He was doing his own thing. So, you know, you gotta take some responsibility for that too. I do. I'm sorry. Okay.